Hi SCF family, hope you're doing well, hope you're staying safe. I was going to the chemist the other day and the shops and just walking past lots of businesses that had been shut down at this time and just feeling a bit of a sadness really about what their lives are looking right now, how they're feeling, what's going through their minds, even when lockdown lifts, what's that going to look like? And there's other people just really fearful at the moment, fearful about their jobs, fearful about family members, what the virus could look like for them, are they going to die? There are thoughts of that as well. And I really feel that this time, when things are shut down, actually God wants us to show his love. And there's lots of different ways that we can do that. And I've just been challenged about the incubator uh, that Chrissy shared about the other week in her talk on Sunday and what that is going to look like for each one of us. And I have been challenging myself to do some art. Um, I really prefer drama. That's my comfort zone. But I've had a go and I had a go at painting the incubator and what I felt God was saying to me and maybe others. felt like the black around is maybe the darkness, maybe the fear that people are feeling. And actually in the incubator, it's a time for his wraparound presence just to surround us, his promises, his truth, his comfort, his challenges. Holy Spirit has got this and he's got our backs. Whatever your situation, whatever your circumstances, he's got your back. And this is a time when we can be challenged, where we can spend more time with him, with a, whatever that looks like for you at the moment. Whether spending time with him is sitting down quietly and doing that. Whether you've got the children in your homeschooling and you're trying to find a moment. Maybe it's when you're washing up that you can engage with him or doing some gardening whatever that looks like. We're really excited for when the time comes when we can meet together in person. What a celebration that's going to be. Oh. When we come together, there's going to be so many testimonies. It'll be so amazing to hear what God's been doing in this time of incubation. So I just want to challenge you a bit. If there's more that you want to see God do in this time, I'm always challenged, try to challenge myself. And um, my greatest inspiration is actually my granny, who's 103, who in her care home has actually, she gave a Bible to the lady in the room next door to her, um, who's got a Jewish background. And ever since then, they've been doing a Bible study every day. She just amazes me in how she shares her faith, how she's not worried about that anymore. And she just goes for it. She's amazing. I'm sure there are other things, other opportunities that God wants to bring into our daily lives. It might be that you get to talk to a neighbour. I've been talking to my neighbours a lot more recently and just trying to be positive, share encouraging words, be there for them, offer help if I need to. Coming against negativity, maybe queuing up at the shop when you're in the line to go into whichever supermarket, there's often a conversation that starts and just bringing that positivity in there. Maybe it's texting friends, checking in, maybe bringing a prophetic word or a word of knowledge to them. Maybe it's being creative in your faith or praying for someone, stepping out and being bold, whatever that might look like, a text message or even face to face with a neighbour, obviously two metre distance. So I wonder how God's challenging you at this time. We want to hear your testimonies when we come back to meet together. We want everyone to have a testimony, big or small. Every testimony is important. Every good news story, there are so many. So what's God doing in this time of incubation? Just want to bless you, be brave, be bold and stay safe.